Welcome back to this Monday morning on your Feel Good Breakfast show. So good to be in your company at the start of a brand new day and indeed a brand new week. And man, we, we all smiles over here because of, of the gentleman sitting to our right. But most importantly, <laughs> that man there to the far corner, <laughs> Eddie Jordan, a man who uh, of many talents yeah. having entered and uh, won the Irish Car Championship in 1971, going on then to become the founder of the Jordan Grand Prix in 1991, uh, giving Michael Schumacher his Formula One debut in the team's debut season. However, his love for rock and roll uh, is the reason he's joining us today in his capacity as the performer with the band Eddie and the Robbers. And of course, he's joined as well by Aston Wiley. And Darren, gentlemen, a very good morning. Eddie, welcome, welcome, Darren, welcome, Thank Aston. You Thank you so much, good to be here. I hope, gentlemen, uh, Eddie, welcome in these crazy times, sir. Welcome well, look, in these is, crazy uh, times. It is crazy times. And, you know, thinking about whether this was the right thing to do with this art, but you know, the people at home and kids who aren't at school, it's important that there is some light relief and there's some excitement that you're doing in this program. I watched the program last week and various other times. It's very exciting, very good fun, and uh, we're very happy, very proud to be on it. Thanks Thank so, so much. much. I really appreciate that, yeah. So let, let's talk about Eddie and the Robbers uh, as a musical, passionate project. How did that come about? Well, I, I think maybe um, it happened when I was uh, very young, in my uh, teenage years. I mean, I, I was infatuated by, by drums in particular, uh, but then it kind of got left to one side because the motor racing took over and that was there for about 35, 40 years. So laterally, uh, in, in Europe, at all of the Grand Prix, I had a little band and we would play at various different concerts and different things and then it seemed to grow and then more and more opportunities to play and people in the band made some reasonable money out of it and it became really quite at a very good level but not a very high professional level. Mm -hmm. And then these guys came along and they brought it to a different <laughs> level. <laughs> because he's a killer, he's really difficult to work for because he makes sure that you do rehearsing and rehearsing in, in Europe is not really something that I'm used to. <laughs> <laughs> going to his, going yeah, to his Studio and spending four hours there. I, mean, I said that. That's, I said, sorry, I what are we doing? Trying to be better? <laughs> I didn't buy into this, but um, so that's what's happened. So we're going to play a little few songs for you later, and hopefully, we get everybody to join in because you know this is a extenuating circumstances, and it's very important to be calm, to be cool, but to be vigilant. And, and to be mindful, remember what our leaders are telling us sure. because they're not stupid and, and they're only after our best welfare and our best health and the country's welfare. Completely, and it is a collective, a global effort at the moment and we know that much. And of course, everyone at home should have a spoon, at least, lying around at so they can, they can, <laughs> they can play along. Um, the spoons, Eddie, how, how does one arrive at the spoons and then taking it, elevating it to the level that you have? Well, the spoons is a thing, I suppose. Well, when I grew up in Ireland, and that's a long time, just immediately after the war and uh, the Second World War, so um, people wanted to play music and I was really only interested in drums and to buy a drum kit was just not in the, the family expensive. budget yeah. and I can promise you that. But, um, you know, there was different things and people played washboards and that's where you got the Lonnie Dunnigans, you know, uh, put thimbles, knitting thimbles on your hand and you do that and it's a great sound. So anyway, I took up the spoons and I said, I'm going to make these things work and I try and make them make some music and we'll... Have a listen later. That's makes a lot of noise. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> well, coming from a drummer saying that yeah, makes yeah. a lot of noise. Come on, come on. But um, Darren, Aston, how did you guys get in touch, get involved, and, and make this uh, a possibility to have Eddie and the Robbers in South Africa? About seven years ago, yeah? uh, I got a call from one of my sponsors, um, and they basically asked me just to go set up a drum kit at his house, at his holiday place. And then... The spoons pretty much came out instantly. I was showing him how the kit works. Next thing is next to me with the spoons. <laughs> <laughs> and from there, well, from that day, we just have been jamming ever since. Pretty much went over to Monaco in 2017, spent about two months there, wow. went to Silverstone, just as, did a lot of gigs. Does. Yeah, I mean. As one does. Were you, Aston, were you a Formula One fan before this? Uh, I used to fall asleep during the Formula Ones, to be oh, honest. No, Sorry no, about no, that. No. Sorry oh, about that. No. My dad used to prop me up on the couch and be like, we're watching Formula One. I used to be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, look, I, I actually met uh, Eddie, I think you were crashing a wedding. Because uh, Darren, <laughs> Darren, we were doing a gig with Darren, and then I met this guy sitting in the corner, and I was like, who's that? And Darren was like, no, it's Eddie, let's go meet him. And that's the first time I met Eddie. Oh, man. Yeah, was, wow. And so let's see what we're, we're fans can catch you performing live. We would like for people to actually experience this. When is it happening? 
How? Yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, we had a few, a couple gigs lined up. Obviously, now this is our, our probably our last one for a while. I'd imagine. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, we had a schedule lined up, but um, no, not taking any risks. And, online. Online, exactly. You can do this online. Online. This is online. There we go. How about Just that? consider it a practice yeah. session, Darren. Yeah. yeah, man. Because I've been following closely with the global citizen, like live streaming has been amazing. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, yeah, we definitely do need to get on that. Get. Yeah. All right, well, Jens, uh, so good to have you yeah. here. Thank you very much. Looking forward to the music, and I hope that you too are looking forward to it. Make sure that you don't miss out on any of that on your feel-good breakfast show.